Hi, this is Dr. Justin here. Uh, today's talk is going to be on nutrient deficiencies and the five main causes of nutrient deficiencies. Cause number one is the standard American diet. So what that simply means is just people are eating food that is very nutrient poor. Refined sugars, uh, lacking in whole foods that are nutrient dense like high quality proteins, fats, and carbohydrates from vegetable and fruit sources. So again, any food from nature that is a whole food is packed with lots of nutrition. Anything found in a in a bag or some kind of container and this does not come from nature, again, it's going to be very nutrient poor. So you really want to work on eating foods that are nutrient rich. That's number one. And second is also making sure those foods are organic because organic food practices essentially are the most ideal for foods being or having the most nutrition. When a food is given pesticides and various chemicals, the soil becomes disrupted and the amount of minerals present in the soil affects the ability for the plant to have a full spectrum of nutrients. So it's proven that foods that are organically grown actually do have more nutrition and also less toxins, which means less stress on the body to detoxify all the chemicals as well. Uh, next, next cause of nutri nutrient deficiencies is inflammation. So when we're eating inflammatory foods, that's going to inflame our intestines, especially our small intestines. In our small intestines, we have finger-like projections called microvilli, which are like little vacuum cleaners whose job is to suck nutrients up, whether it's iron or vitamin C or calcium or magnesium. These nutrients are really important. And even if we're eating good food and it's organic food, if our ability to absorb those nutrition is impaired, then we're just not going to get access to it because we are what we eat, digest, and assimilate. So if we're not digesting it and assimilating it, even if we ate it, doesn't mean we're actually going to get it to our body, to our cells, and actually need it. Next are infections. Again, infections cause that same issue. The more inflamed our body is, whether it's from bacteria, parasite, or fungus, that's going to decrease our body's ability to absorb because infections cause inflammation. Inflammation decreases our body's ability to absorb. Four, supplementation. So even organic food is still not like organic food 100 or 200 or 300 years ago. It's still nutriently less when we compare to centuries before. Therefore, supplementation is almost 100% mandatory if we really want to make sure that we're getting maximum nutrition. Now, going organic is a good step in the right direction. Next is having a high-quality supplement that's low in toxins and highly absorbable nutrients so we can fill in the gaps. And again, a supplement is called a supplement because it's meant to supplement a good diet, not replace a good diet. So just keep that in mind. A good diet and good supplements together are really the winning team. And last but not least is medications. Medications are known to cause nutrient deficiencies. There are actually textbooks on medications and their nutrient deficiencies, such as metformin or glucophage. These pharmaceuticals will actually cause B12 issues and folic acid issues. We know certain statin medications will actually cause deficiencies in CoQ10, which are really important for our mitochondria. So every anytime you're on a medication, even if you're on it, you should at least be on supplementing the nutrients that are known to be deficient by that drug interaction, all right? So I've been giving you guys a couple ideas of some things that are causing nutrient deficiencies. I hope this information has been helpful. Any questions, feel free to email or call my office. Thanks, have a great day.